Welcome back for another help for YouTube creators video. Right now I've got one of my videos pulled up and I'm in the process of getting it ready to publish. Now, right now I've got a title, description and tags already in place. And my video, as you'll note, is set to private because I don't yet have it complete. So in my previous video, I showed how to do end screens. And in this one, I'm gonna show how to do cards. So up at the top, you'll see the little icon that says cards. And just go ahead and pause your video. It just makes it easier as you're adding the different cards. So if you have a certain place where you've referenced something, you can drag the pointer to it, or you can just space them equally throughout however um, works for you best. So over here where this is, it'll show you the time in the video where this is at. This is 15 seconds in. And I can go up here to add card and this will give me a bunch of the options just like at the end screens it did. I can add a card for a video or playlist when I press create. Again, this will show all of my uploads. Since this is a three minute at three video, I'm gonna go back and find one of those. We'll do this one, hustle. And then I just press, so I selected it and it turned gray. And then I just press create card. And what it'll do is then you just see a little bar right here, a little rectangle. And I go back just a little bit and I press play. And then up at the corner here, it sees suggested and then it gives the title of the video and it stays up for several seconds. So you're allowed to use up to five cards. I'm gonna put another one in here at a minute. I can go add card. Uh, this time I'm gonna do a playlist. So up on this first option, I'll press create. And now instead of uploads, I'm going to select playlist. And I want to recommend my three minutes at three playlist, which currently has six videos in it. So I click to select it and I press create card. And then I can go back a little bit and just see how this pops up. So it'll play along and then up here, suggested three minutes at three playlist. And it gives the title of that playlist. So I still have three things I can add. If I go to add card, here we have channel, promote another channel. So you'll need the link to their channel to use this one. And then you can also add a little message in there. Now, if you want to add a donation card, you can do that. It says feature a nonprofit of your choice. So this is selecting from their directory of approved nonprofits and you can just click if you click learn more if you want to find out more about that. There are other options. Uh, they have one for a poll. So you can create a multiple choice poll and they get to vote. So for example, um, you could do what is your favorite type of metal to forge? Now this would rather be on one of our forging videos but uh, you can give two poll choices, let's say mild steel and 1040 as two examples. And you can even add other options, but we'll press create card and let's check out what this looks like. So go back a little bit, press play. And I've never actually used this feature, but it looks like it could be interesting. So I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna click on this and oh, it just shows, okay. Well, right now it's just showing but this is the box that would pop up here and they can just select from right there in the video so that's actually a really neat feature um, might have to see about using that in one of our future video future videos but uh, since that card doesn't apply to the specific business video i'm gonna go back press the edit and i can press the trash can to delete it so i believe there's one other option here link you can link to an approved website and this includes your associated website. It can also include merchandise sites and crowdfunding sites. So uh, if you have a website, you have to go through the extra steps to have this added into their partnership program. And pressing next would add that to you. I'll, I'll give you an example with our blacksmithpdfs.com and then I press next and then it allows me to enter a little additional information. Like if I wanted to include a message or a picture 
um, and our card title could be something like um, our blacksmithing website or our blacksmith website and then I can say visit now and call to action would be stop by today so then let's create the card and see how that looks So it's playing through and then it pops up, visit now, and when they click on it, they'll see the picture and the website reference and then the little note that you've added about it. So what I like to do with my cards is I like to space them pretty well evenly throughout the video. Uh, I do one a little bit before the end, definitely not within the last 20 seconds of it because that could interfere with the end screens, but just kind of evenly space them out throughout and that gives they are really great for giving recommendations for, um, they're really great for giving recommendations so that you can get people to continue watching more of your videos. So stay tuned for the bonus clip. Bonus clip, all right. I am gonna show you a few handy little features. You may have heard this in my last video. These features come from a browser plugin called TubeBuddy. And you'll have noticed there's a couple little buttons here that aren't you probably don't see on your screen. And so uh, if I go to apply template, I can create templates for certain ca cards being at certain times and they will show up in this video. I can have, it'll copy them over to this video. So for example, I have pre-selected several videos and also a uh, link for our website. Now. I'll explain this here more here in a moment. Um, these are a bunch of templates I've saved in the past for different uh, types of videos we've done. Now, I've created kind of a special playlist for the specific business series we're doing called Three Minutes at Three. So when I click on this, it's gonna load the cards that I've saved for this particular template. Now, I'm gonna press apply and I can show you a little further. Right now, it's just showing the URL up here but when I load it into the screen, it'll actually show the individual uh, video references that it's talking about. So down here up at the bottom, you'll notice the little rectangles, they pop up and they are already pretty closely spaced where I want them to be. And I can just tweak them a little bit. And this setting up the templates is really simple. Um, I'm going to, I'll show you how to save a new template here in a moment, but right here, it's got a link to our website and then it's got three links to three individual videos and down at the bottom, I added a, a playlist link as well. So if you've, when you're working with the template, sometimes you want to change it up a little bit and you can still click edit card and you can still edit it uh, as you want to. So I'm going to import one of those. And if you select one that was already previously selected, I'll just give you a little note about that and say, hey, this one's already in there. Uh, but you can go through and make a bunch of templates. And like, so if you're doing forging videos, you can have a template for forging videos where you're referencing all certain videos um, or certain playlists or things like that. So this tool is really a handy time saver. And if you want to, when you're ready to save a new template, Let's say I'm gonna change the playlist here. I'm gonna change it to the three minutes at three playlist instead of our business, a blacksmithing playlist and press save. And so I've changed a few things. This is not the same template that I originally had, especially I moved some of the little um, cards around their location where it was. And so this is what I currently have up there is a little bit different from my original three minutes at three template. So. To save a new template, you'll check mark this box, set this video as a cards template, and then you can give it a name. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this one the new three minutes at three um, video template. So then I just click off to the side and I'll say changes are saved. So if I was to go back and apply a template, it would be among the list of templates be down towards the bottom there it is new three minutes at three and then it's going to have all five of those cards in the same location referring to the same videos and playlist now 
This is super handy, especially if you're making a lot of videos, so consider getting it. To get it, go to tubebuddy.com slash blacksmith. They have a free version, and then they have a few tiers of paid versions. Right now, we currently use the star version just because we really enjoyed the, the features that that level offers. But thanks again uh, for watching this video. I showed you two different ways of doing it, uh, just there within YouTube. So let me know down in the comments if there's any other videos you would like to see similar to this. And I appreciate you watching and have a wonderful day.